Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to begin our look at the final countdown by Europe. So we're going to take a look at all the chords, all the riffs in this one. Um, and the next lesson, I'm going to take a look at that guitar solo. It's a killer guitar solo. So it's going to be a lot of fun, so make sure you check that one out as well. So we just have uh, like four different rhythms here to learn, and it'll get us through the song. Let's start here. We're in standard tuning. We're going to start with just these power chords here off the second fret of the low E string. And take it to the D power chord off the fifth fret of the A string. Then down to the B power chord off the second fret of the A string. Then the low E power chord off the low E string. So all together. Let's repeat that. All right, so that entire time uh, I'm doing kind of a lazy gallop, and uh, I'm muting the strings, just slightly palm muting, so it gives it kind of kind of makes the notes pop a little bit. So down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. All right, so it's not a very like fast gallop at all. All right, so that ending to that riff, um, which this is basically the chorus. This is the intro to the song, uh, which is the chorus riff. So we have we have what well, we just did twice, and we have this ending. All right, so this is kind of fun. You're gonna play that power chord to the second fret again, and then a quick little palm mute zero two on the low E. Then you're gonna grab this chord. That's the fourth fret on the low E. And then the second fret on the D. So the A string in the middle needs to be muted by the bottom of your ring finger. Now you can play that chord like this too. I'm trying to play it exactly like he does. So we have this. Then we have this. So we have a. So that's two, four. Then the A power chord, then back four two, and they open. So we have this. So all together. Then we go to this D power chord. Open D string, second fret on the G, third on the B. Hit that twice, and then the C sharp power chord here which is off the fourth fret of the A string. It's all together for the chorus and the intro. All right, so from there we go to um, the verse, which starts with just an F sharp minor bar chord, and then there's a little little pick slide there. I'm sure you can pick that up easy. And then the vocals actually come in with that F sharp minor again. It could just be a power chord if you want. Then it goes from there over to the B power chord, and then back down to the F sharp minor. And then we had that same ending, just a little bit simplified. So it's a power chord, the F sharp minor part, uh, F sharp power chord, and then that chord we looked at earlier to the A power chord. So you don't have that all that fancy, you know, um, root movement all over the place. It's just all right. So that's a pretty simple verse. So now when it picks up, goes back to that gallop. 
I, I kind of see this as being the pre-chorus of the song. So this part sounds like this. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start here the power chords now, that same gallop feel with kind of muted fifth fret off the A string, then up two frets. Then we have this little descending bass line where, you know, I've kind of watched the videos of him doing it live and he just plays, he'll do just single notes down there or sometimes he'll do chords. And you can go, come up here to this bar. So let's just do it as chords. And if you just want to play the low note by itself, it's fine too. It's a fifth fret power chord off the low E. Then keep your pinky there or third finger, whatever you're playing with it. Move down, move the first finger down to the fourth fret. Then the power chord off the second fret. And then we're going to come to the power chord off the, the E power chord here, the seventh fret of the A. And the D. Then the fourth fret. Back up to the E power chord. So you can see that it hits it five times. So all together for that pre chorus. All right, so then we go through all that. Um, you know the course again and then we make it to the guitar solo which we're going to take a look at in the next lesson so let's take a look at that breakdown that happens coming out of the guitar solo sounds like this <laughs> All right, so that has the same ending that the chorus has, so um, you already know that part. So let's take a look at this. We're gonna start with just the F sharp power chord, and then the fourth fret power chord off the A string up to the fifth, and kind of slide that last one down. So we have this. All right, now staying off the power chords off the A string, second fret, and then five seven. So that again, and just repeat all that. So after you've done all that twice, you do that same ending that we did earlier for the chorus. And just repeat the chorus again and again uh, throughout the song. All right, so stay tuned for that solo lesson. I'll see you then.